हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू टुडे इन द लॉ लेक्चर सीरीज आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इम्पॉर्टेंट जजमेंट ऑफ ऑनरेबल गुजरात हाई कोर्ट वेयर बाय द अपील फाइल्ड बाय द स्टेट अगेंस्ट द ऑर्डर ऑफ एक्विटल हैज बीन रिजेक्टेड एंड द ऑर्डर पास बाय द कंसर्न ट्रायल कोर्ट एक्विटिंग द अक्यूज अंडर वेरियस ऑफेंसेज कंसर्न विद द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ करप्शन एट इज हपेल्ड फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो इज स्पेशली मेड फॉर दोज पर्सन हु अंडरस्टैंड इंग्लिश who want to know law in english language and apart from that it is very much important for the south indians people because they are totally equipped with this language and apart from that number of requests has been made to me to record the videos in english so that they could understand the law in a very easy perspective friends usually we know that the demand and acceptance are signed one on to prove the offense under the prevention of corruption act but sometime we totally lack on the strategies and that's why it is very essential to know what are the strategies to fight a case under the prevention of corruption at so could we could easily establish our defense and could easily fight our case in a very efficient way do not depend upon your advocate absolutely if you want the case just be prepared on your brief do the proper research and do the recent research also and apart from that do the compilation and after that scrutinize all the factual score in the light of the legal position so that whenever you are going to do the examination you could do the same in the light of law which would be a totally fruitful examination and definitely we would have the optimum result in the course of argument trial and the other proceeding in the court room so the video is quite important do not escape or do not skip the key point is that keep a pen or a diary with you whatever i am going to narrate to you please note down the same and if you are having the same problem this video is quite helpful to you or in future if you are having the same problem this video may be a nectar for you and could help you to get rid from the alleged problems so i am going to start the presentation let's move on the screen the judgment is passed by honorable gujarat high court named as state of gujarat versus mangu bhai okay and the criminal appeal number is 2398 oblique 2005 and judgment is pronounced on 16th of june 2023 so this is a basic redemption of the case now we are coming on the next book the basic contentions are that in the present case at hand the appeal has been filed by the state of gujarat as per the provision of section 378 sub clause 1 sub clause 3 of crpc against the impugned judgment of equitable whereby the consent court of jamnagar equated the concerned accused from the charges under section 7 section 12 section 13 1d of the prevention of corruption act so by the bare perusal of the facts we are quite clear on the three points number 1 the concerned accused has been equated number 2 the accused has been charged under section 7 12 and 13 1d the nature of his means he accepted or obtained or both with the element of abetment with the element of abuse of the official position which is clearly indicated of the criminal misconduct and it is punishable as per section 13 sub clause 2 of the prevention of corruption act so in this case the appeal is filed because as we know that against every order of the equitel the state has a right to make the appeal but as per the protocol of section 378 of the crpc if the permission is given the appeal would be admitted if the permission is not given in that scenario appeal would not be admitted so these are the two important criteria of law which are required to be borne by us in our mind while contesting the appeal or contesting the regular case under the prevention of corruption act friends the case of prosecution is that the complainant who is a police inspector of acb jamnagar the name of complainant is bk solanki he lodged a complaint on 22nd of october 1992 stating that he received a secret information that on the jamnagar victoria bridge at jamnagar rajkot highway the police officials or the employee of the rtu department were harassing the people by demanding the illegal gratification and usually such type of report are totally alien but recently we are observing this pattern in karnataka zone also because the number of cases are booked on the said assumption the accused is demanding or having intent to accept the alleged bribe amount and that's why he is abusing the official position and on the secret information usually the acb shows the anxiety to book the accused under the prevention of corruption act so in this case the same scenario has been happened and the case is very much simple that the concerned accused persons are harassing the people they are demanding the illegal gratification in the form of money so the basic nature of the bribe has been identified that it is not in kind it is in the form of money 
इट इज फ्रॉम द व्हीकल ऑनर पासिंग थ्रू द रोड एज अ ब्राइव देयर फॉर अ डिकॉय ट्रैप दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिकॉय ट्रैप हैज बिन अरेंज बाय द कंप्लेनेंट दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो पुलिस इंस्पेक्टर एज वेल एज अदर ऑफिशियल्स ऑफ द ए सी बी जामनगर ड्यूरिंग द सेट ट्रैप द अक्यूज पर्सन वर कॉड रेड हैंडेड बाय द मेंबर ऑफ रेडिंग पार्टी दिस अ बेसिक केस ऑफ द प्रोसिक्यूशन एंड अल्टीमेटली दे हैव लॉस द एफ आई आर अगेंस्ट द अक्यूज पर्सन एंड सब्जिक्वेंट टू दिस एंड सब्जिक्वेंट टू सक्सेसफुल ट्रैप द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द विटनेस हैज बिन रिकॉर्डेड एंड नेसरी डॉक्यूमेंट्स हैज बिन प्रिपेयर फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ स्टेबलाइजिंग द गिल्ट ऑफ द अक्यूज एंड फाइनली द चार्ज शीट हैज बिन फाइल्ड सो दिस इज बेसिकली द कोर्स from fir to charge it please note on the same so this is basically a course from fir to charge it got the point now very easy now we are coming on the next book after filing of charge it against the accused person they were summoned by the consent sessions court and they plead not guilty because whenever you are going to face a trial you have a right to say that you never accept the charge when you say the same it is a plea of not guilty please note down the same and charges were framed in that scenario if you are not challenging the same the court will proceed with the further trial proceeding and the primary duty of the court is to examine the evidence of the prosecution along with the documents so that the guilt of the accused could be identified after recording the evidence of the prosecution the court closed the evidences and finally the statement of the accused has been recorded as per the provision of section 313 of crpc it is second protocol because after recording of the statement of the prosecution statement of the accused has been recorded as per section 313 crpc and in the further statement the accused denied all the incriminating circumstances and he submitted that he is you know sir the case is false and he has been dragged in the present false case ultimately the consent court while considering the, all the contention acquitted the accused finally the state moved before the honorable high court by the virtue of appeal the contention of consent public prosecutor is that the consent special court has not appreciated the evidence available on the record in the true sense and in the proper perspective these are two different thing in the true sense and in the proper perspective true sense means he has failed to consider the fact and proper perspective means he has failed to consider the legal position at hand got the point now very easy to be understood the judgment passed by the consent trial court is contrary to the settled provision of law and facts on the record therefore the same is required to be quashed and set aside he further submitted that it is settled position of law that the purpose of proving charge level against the accused the consent counsel for the state further submitted that it is settled legal position that the basic onus is on the prosecution to prove the charge if the charge is not proved in that scenario accused deserves to be acquitted and the basic formula to prove the charge is to submit the evidence that is coagent that is convincing that is reliable means there should not be any room of doubt and despite of said fact the learned judge has not given due weightage and set of evidences he submitted that the consent judge has not appreciated the evidence available on the record in the proper perspective in the true perspective which is contrary to the settled legal position and therefore it is required to be set aside it is further submitted that the purpose of proving the charge level against the accused he further submitted that for the purpose of proving the charge against the accused the ample evidence is submitted on the record has been proved beyond the reasonable doubt so the key point is that in the case at hand the prosecution has to prove the case beyond the reasonable doubt and the prosecution has discharged all its duty and apart from that the accused has to rebut the presumption as per section 20 of the prevention of corruption act which it totally failed to do the same and that's why it requires the interference from this honorable court and he deserves to be imprisoned as per the law he submitted that even though the witness does not support the case of prosecution or declare hostile or after obtaining permission from the court as per section 154 of the indian evidence act that is very important to be noted because when the prosecution witness stand hostile the prosecution has the right to examine the same to examine him by the virtue of cross examination method and same is permissible as per section 154 of indian evidence act if anything incriminating evidence is found against the accused the same could be considered as a piece of evidence and apart from that in the present case at hand the complainant and person number 2 although not supported the case but apart from that there are certain things on the record by the virtue of which the inference could be drawn but the court pointed out that in addition to this the key officers means the trap laying officer has not been examined by the prosecution and apart from that at the time of appreciating and considering the material available on the record the consent judge 
is bound to weigh the entire evidence available on the record and he has done the same in the true perspective also observed by the court while disposing the present appeal and apart from that he submitted that if all the evidence are to be seen in the entirety then it appeared that the prosecution was successful to prove the charge against the accused beyond the reasonable doubt and all the ingredients of the offense are established and proved in support of the consent submission the concerned app has relied on the judgment of honorable supreme court neeraj datta versus state of ncti friends this judgment is going to create a very great confusion but now the position has been very much cleared the key point is that the prosecution is bound to prove the case beyond reasonable doubt as observed by supreme court in this case also and every demand is not a demand of bribe as observed by supreme court also the prosecution has to prove the demand beyond doubt the prosecution has to prove the foundational fact if all the things are not proved if all the things are totally lagging in that scenario the benefit will definitely goes to the concerned accused so please note this point even judgment filed by the state is not supporting the case of prosecution and it was emphatically emphasized by the concerned app that the judgment passed by the concerned trial court is deserved to be set aside because all the ingredient means demand acceptance recovery are duly proved by the prosecution and in the last it is prayed to allow the appeal the same was opposed by the counsel for the concerned accused he vmd submitted that it is settled position that in corruption case demand acceptance recovery are the major components which are required to be established by the prosecution by leading coagent convincing reliable and clinching evidence but all these things are missing apart from that he submitted that the demand acceptance are not proved and apart from that the charges level again the accused are also not proved because the basic ingredient for example demand acceptance recovery are sine qua non in the corruption case it is settled position that in the absence of single component the entire case of the prosecution gets collapsed he submitted that in the present case at hand admittedly that is a very clever argument because you have to emphasize on those facts which are totally admitted means not controverted or which are uncontroverted that if the evidence of all the witnesses are to be read together in toto in that event it is clearly found that from the same the prosecution entirely have failed to stabilize the case of demand and acceptance beyond the reasonable doubt he submitted that the truck driver who was used as a punter in the main witness in the decoy trap and he is the best witness who could tell what had actually transpired at the time of commission of offense and how demand was being made by the accused but even he has not supported the case of the prosecution and apart from that the prosecution witness means punch number 1 was there in the truck along with the complainant and he was specifically instructed by the trap trap laying officer to carefully listen the conversation took place between the accused and the complainant however the evidence of said panchas witness it is appearing that he said nothing regarding the conversation actually took place between the accused and the complainant and apart from that there is no supporting evidence on the record by the virtue of which an inference could be drawn against the accused and on the contrary from the evidence available on the record it is appearing that the consent red members after the arrival and he submitted that on the contrary the trap laying officer has not discharge his duty in a very regular way in a very justified way in a very fair manner and apart from that he submitted that all the evidence available on the record is not connecting the accused with the alleged crime because the complainant and other witnesses who are totally muddled in the case are not supporting the case of the prosecution and apart from that there is no clinching or connecting evidence on the record by the virtue of which inference could be drawn on the record so he submitted that the appeal filed by the concerned state deserves to be rejected now we are coming on the observation of the court the court first read on judgment of chandrappa versus state of karnataka which is reported in 2007 scc page 415 in which it is held that the appellant court should not interfere in order of acquittal in general matter now we are coming on the observation of the court the court first read on judgment of chandrappa versus state of karnataka in which it is held that the appellant court has power to review reappreciate and reconsider the evidence and apart from that there is no restriction limitation or condition on access to such power and the key point is that the compelling and good reason should be on the record by the virtue of which the court will interfere otherwise the court could not interfere so appellant court should bear in mind that in case of acquittal there is double presumption of innocence in favor of the accused firstly the presumption of innocence available to him as a fundamental right as per the criminal jurisprudence and every person shall be deemed to be innocent unless he is proven guilty by the competent court so the key point is that 
द प्रजम्पन ऑफ इनोसेंस इज द बेसिक प्रजम्पन एंड दैट इज रूल नंबर वन एंड रूल नंबर टू इज दैट आफ्टर हैविंग अ सिक्योर्ड एक्विटी द प्रजम्पन ऑफ इनोसेंस इज फर्दर री इनफोर्स री अफर्म एंड गेट स्ट्रेंथन बाय द कंसेंट ट्रायल कोर्ट इफ टू व्यूज आर पॉसिबल टू कंक्लूजन आर पॉसिबल द कोर्ट शुड नॉट इंटरफेयर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इन एम आर पुरुषोत्तम वर्ष स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका एंड इंपॉर्टेंट जजमेंट ऑन द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ करप्शन एट द कोर्ट स्पेसिफाइड दैट द प्रोसिक्यूशन हैज टू प्रूव द डिमांड एंड एक्सेप्टेंस इफ The concerned company did not support the prosecution in that scenario. The benefit intralia would go to the concerned accused. And apart from that, the complainant himself had disowned to his own statement to the alleged documents. And apart from that, the connecting evidence is available on the on the record. And apart from that, TLO has not been examined. So basically, when all the material witness has not been examined, so factum of demand could not be proved. And if factum of demand is not proved, then on mere recovery and on mere possession of currency note, the accused cannot be connected with the crime. the court specified that there is a absence of demand acceptance and other things so if demand is absent the accused could not be convicted and apart from that in nirasta versus state of nct the same principle has been laid down so the key point is that when the prosecution is required to prove the case the prosecution is duty bound to prove the case beyond reasonable doubt if the prosecution totally fail to do so and the foundation facts are not on the record in that scenario no presumption could be drawn and even though the accused could not be convicted and apart from that judgment of n vijay kumar was also relied on the factum or on the point of section 20 of the prevention of corruption act so by the virtue of this the court concluded that mere recovery of money is not sufficient the key point is that the prosecution is required to prove the demand if demand is not proved the mere recovery of money in the absence of foundation fact could not connect the accused with the crime and such type of accused deserves to be acquitted from the alleged charges so in that scenario looking to the fact and circumstances by ruling on the legal position the court acquitted the accused and appealed the judgment of acquittal passed by the concerned trial court so friends we could easily conclude that in case of prosecution under the prevention of corruption act even there is a mere recovery it is not sufficient the demand should be there if there is no demand the accused could not be convicted and could not be prosecuted so while contesting the case just emphasize on the type of demand what demand is on the record if demand is not sustaining demand is not corroborated in and even though witness had disowned from their own statement or from their own evidences then definitely you could took the benefit of such wrongs of such mistakes of the prosecution so don't worry be a defense lawyer it is my duty to enlighten you in the light perspective friends for such videos please like and subscribe my page friends see you in the next video till then jai hind jai bharat